There'll be times when we'll need to rationalize the numerator rather than rationalizing the denominator. And in order to do that, we're going to follow the same steps as we would have to rationalize the denominator. So we're going to write that equivalent expression of root 5 minus root 3 over root 2 minus 1. And this time we're going to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator, which will be root 5 plus root 3 over root 5 plus root 3. Foiling this out, we get root 5 times root 5 is 5. Root 5 plus, or multiply it, root 5 times root 3 is positive root uh, 15. Um, negative root 3 times root 5 is negative root 15. And negative root 3 times positive root 3 is negative 9. You can choose to FOIL out the denominator as well, or you can leave it as the multiplication of the binomials. Um, we'll FOIL it out and we'll see um, if we can do anything with that. Uh, and then you have the option of just rewriting it as the multiplication of the binomials. So root 2 times root 5 is root 10. Root 2 times root 3 is positive root 6. Negative 1 times root 5 is negative root 5 and negative one times root three is negative root three. So you can see in the denominator that there's nothing I can reduce this to. Um, I can't add these or add or subtract these roots without um, changing them into decimal numbers. So it wasn't helpful for me to multiply out those to add that denominator. So five minus nine is minus four. The root five minus root, the root 15 minus root 15 cancel each other out. And instead of writing it as this uh, root 10 plus root 6 minus root 5 minus root 3, I'm just going to write my denominator as the multiplication of the binomials, uh, root 2 minus 1 times root 5 plus 3. It wouldn't have been wrong if you wrote the denominator as the roots up in the second step, um, but you have some options depending on what the question asks you to do.